we finish the rest of the video, make sure you subscribe or else. All right, so it looks like Evander Holyfield had to break up the Vladimir Klitschko Shannon Briggs confrontation once again for the 487th time. Once again, Klitschko's in Florida doing his workout. Boom, Shannon Briggs finds him. You know, starts talking smack, getting in his face. Start, you know, how you can bump up or touch people. You know, Vladimir is like, yo, back up. And next thing you know, Briggs pushes him back. He said, yo, don't touch my face, blah, blah, blah. He's like, I didn't touch your face and getting back from you and this and that. And then, you know, Vander Holyfield and, and Michael Moore, they all jumped in and they separated too. And Shannon was still just going off and this and that. He's like, listen, man, you're interrupting my space once again. You were trying to work out. And you just, all you do is just come and run your mouth, cause problems, this and that. Now, this is what I'm trying to get at. Is this real or is it stage? How is it? That Shannon Briggs always knows where Vladimir is at. And then on top of that, they allow him to be in the same gym where he's working out at. The people that own the gym should already know, listen, you're not allowed in here. And you can't say, well, you can't refuse me to write because it's about most boxing gyms I know. Even a business has the right to refuse people from coming in that they don't seem deemed fit or meet their standards or their dress codes or whatever it is. This is a gym that owner has the right. So, you know, I'm to the point now, okay, this stuff is just so staged now. It's just, it's just getting tired of some of it now. Leave your thoughts and comments below. Are you tired of seeing the Vladimir Klitschko Shannon Briggs confrontation for the 1800th time? Leave your thoughts and comments below. Let me know.